welcome to another painting tutorial and this we're going to look at uh, ultramarines so I'm going to uh, show you the basic paint job um, so I, I started off there with the uh, mercuric blue uh, base coat and I'm giving this the uh, nightshade wash here so um, this is going to give you sort of a tabletop level something you can do all your troops up pretty quickly I'm going to do some more detailed uh, ultramarines ones later so there's mercuric blue uh, overpainting things uh, if you check the description below, I'll we'll have the list of the paints as well as on my blog and um, there'll be some other options as well. So I'm going to do some tactical squads later, but this is just to give you an idea of their basic paint job. So right now I'm just painting uh, sort of all the flat surfaces, trying to avoid any of the crevices, kind of an overpainting um, and not worrying about being too, too exact. The idea here is to get the effect from the, uh, the shade there. Uh, now we're doing the uh, sort of edge highlighting here um, uh, at low tech blue. Uh, again, this will be in the description. So just going around trying to get uh, just sort of the edge highlights of things, not worrying about being too exact, and just getting sort of the main ones there uh, along the face there and the shoulder pads, that one little line. As well, I'll be doing some other tutorials for adding decals and stuff like that. So Calgar Blue, now just looking to try to get some of the edges. And I actually come back and use this paint again. So uh, be sure to, you could probably do this all in one, one go. The, there is a benefit for doing this pit job, sorry, this uh, color later on. And if I had been doing a bunch of these guys, I would have realized it. Because I use this color to sort of be the base for the paint chips as well. So you'll see that. So uh, I would actually uh, hold this one off to the end. Okay, so that takes a little bit more time, just worrying about some of the raised areas. Um, Abaddon Black is going to go on the bolt gun, and uh, some of the uh, the holster there, and his combat knife. Um, not a lot of other detail being put on this model. Like I said, just this is basic tabletop level. Oh yeah, some of the hoses. Depending on which um, mark armor you have, there might be more of those. Uh, lead belcher, so this is going to be the the base color for the silver, and so that's going on the end of the bolt gun, the clip, handle, and a couple pieces here and there. Uh, a bit more on the backpack too, that'll be obvious. And I just did those hoses all in silver just to make my life simple. Um, obviously if you're, if you're looking to do your guys uh, more detail, you can you know, spend more time on them, but this will give you the basic technique just for getting your guys ready for tabletop. Uh, Warplock Bronze, so I'm using this for the base color for the gold, and I'm going to do the, the skull on his head, and the little eagle on the gun, and his chest plate. Um, I end up coming back later and doing the shoulder pads, uh, the edges of them, so could have done that all at once as well. Again, so doing the first model, you kind of make some of these mistakes, and then you'll come back and fix it uh, when you do a whole batch of them. Okay, so Newland Oil over all of the lead belcher bits, and so it's just nice thick uh, black wash, and that'll sit in the recesses and uh, help everything out. Uh, Dark Reaper, which is like a blue-gray, and that's going to go on edges of all the black pieces, so mostly just the bolt gun and those holsters. You could do the holsters uh, a brown, but just to keep things simple, I'm doing the black. And Thunderhawk uh, blue there for the edges. Uh, again, is gold for the, the gold there, and just trying to pick off some of the highlights and the raised bits. And uh, a little bit of the gold highlight, not terribly necessary, but uh, a little bit more detail. Rune Fang, so this is going to go around the edges of all of the silver parts, as you can see there, and just trying to get the edge highlights on them. Um, again, if I had planned out this model a little bit better, uh, I would have done the paint chips at the same time. So Mephiston Red for the base color of the eyes and a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet just for a little bit of highlight. You could spend more time in the eyes as well, um, but obviously I didn't. Okay, so I'm just painting gold around the edges of the shoulder pads. Now depending on what company you, you're doing, you may choose to do different colors as well as a knee pad, but I'm just showing you the, uh, the basics here. So I'm doing gold shoulder pads and I'm not doing any company markings. And uh, for all the tactical markings, um, I'm going to save that for another tutorial with decals. Uh, 
So Newlin Oil, I'm just going around the edges of that there, just uh, to the edge of the shoulder pad, just to help differentiate that a bit better. And uh, here's what I mentioned before, the, the Calgar Blue. So I'm going along and I'm just putting little flecks here and there for some uh, for paint chips. And so just random spots where the paint might have chipped away. And what this is, the idea here is this is exposing some, uh, some of the paint from underneath. So it's a little bit lighter in color, catching the light a bit more. So I'm using a Rhinox Hide here, so a dark brown on the inside of those paint chips. And so the, you have kind of a halo effect from the Calgar Blue. And uh, then I'm going to put a little bit of silver in the middle. So this works for any sort of uh, paint chip. What you do is just take the, the last highlight color and you put splotches of it here and there. Um, less is better. Uh, you can always add more. It's hard to cover it up later though. And then you put some brown in the middle of it to look like some corroded bits and then some bright silver in the center of it. And that makes it look like fresh scratches. So here's the guy all done. Like I said, tabletop level um, and paints up pretty quickly. You could do a whole batch of these guys probably in an evening, uh, especially once you figure out a technique that works for you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check back. I'll be doing the rest of the Space Marine chapters, uh, the main ones anyways, shortly.